Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to this week's episode of Tuesday Preppers where we go over the news and we talk about what's coming up in the game and we go over different items and abilities and materials and weapons and things like that that might help you to get an edge on uh, some of those trials and challenges that are coming this week with a special emphasis on things uh, that give you killer bonuses. Killer bonuses being a very important and easy way to increase the amount of damage you do to certain types of enemies. Um, so with that said, let's get into it because we've got a lot of news to cover this week. And check this out. Ooh, ooh, it's a chalkboard. Okay, cool. So the very first piece of upcoming content that we have, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the news here, is a raid event. It's called a culling mission for Yish's elites. Um, and the raid is this bug looking boss. We know it's a bug. Um, and from looking at the, um, the wiki, um, the JP side, we know that this is a boss that's weak to ice, which makes sense because a lot of the enemies or the uh, new allies that you can summon during this event are very ice focused. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, important to note that it is uh, only able to be broken for attack and magic, according to the wiki. Um, but it's a raid. You know, honestly, you're going to sneeze on this thing and it's going to die. So just bring your bug killer. And um, what's exciting about this week is we've never talked about bug killer before. Um, so we'll go ahead and talk about bug killer in just a moment. Um, so that's that. Um, and then if you take a look here, um, the other piece of this event, which is the challenge event that's part of it, all the way at the bottom, as per usual, the Kingdom's Mightiest Warrior. It's a human boss, weak to ice. And according to the wiki, I say weak to ice because it's technically resistant to all elements, but ice is his uh, weakest type of um, resistance. He only has like 43% or 49% resistance to ice compared to like 80 something of all the other elements. So bring an ice in peril and blow this boss up. Uh, you can use all the breaks you want, does not matter. Um, but I do want to point out something really important here. So in the raid event, um, you can get these uh, rewards, um, and these are all really nice. Um, this one is a really neat way to get some MP restore on your team. Just did a video on MP restore last week, so it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely want to get MP restore on some units, so that's cool. Um, these uh, this accessory is pretty neat. Attack and magic forty, you know, some stuff, and then some um, magic damage versus humans when you're wearing a katana, pretty cool. Um, this armor is fairly neat. It gives you 10% evasion and 10%, uh, you know, just 10% chance to dodge attacks, which is kind of nice on a heavy armor. Um, and then some machine killer um, f and uh, bug killer, which is, again, useful for uh, for certain types of bosses, like bugs and machines, which we're going to be dealing with this week. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so I definitely pick up these rewards from the raid. Uh, it's very nice to be able to get stuff like that. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the next one. The next one here is a um, Chronicle Battle, the Proto Omega. It's a machine. Lo and behold, we need machine killers. So the raid gives you machine killer, and here's a boss that is a machine. So that's kind of cool. So we'll talk about machine killer, which we've also never talked about. You can get a mystery crystal. Very valuable reward. So don't miss out on this. Get some lapis. Get this awesome badge to put on your, your profile. Because everyone loves badges, right? We don't need no stinking badges. All right. There you go. So we got a machine boss, we got a bug boss, we got human bosses. Okay, what else we got? Oh my gosh, another machine. We got the 12 types takedown against the death machine. The death machine. Apparently it's pretty hard. Um, it's a machine boss, weak to thunder and water. Um, and you can use all the breaks you want on it. But good luck. Okay, cool. And then finally, my favorite thing I'm looking forward to right now is that the, the story continues. This is very awesome. Um, you know, whenever the story continues, we get a lot of lapis. Um, these characters are really cool, in my opinion. This is my favorite, my favorite chapter so far of the game. Um, and if you look down, 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 down. Oh, they're not in here. Uh, where is it? Mm, heroic quest update. As part of this, as part of this update, we get some armor for Tulian, which is really cool. I actually kind of like Tulian, so it's neat that he's, we can get some items for him. Um, this armor for Tyvus is very solid. HP and attack and defense on a heavy armor is pretty nice. Um, for Tyvus, it gets LB damage and boosted attack. Pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to these. Okay, don't miss out on those. Um, but it, it's part of the story, so you've got time to do it. Um, but that said, here we are. Those are all the events that we have coming up. Lots of neat stuff to do this week. So I said we've got um, 
an insect boss that's going to help us get machine killer. So probably a good idea to get some insect killer going on so we can pick up those raid rewards, um, some machine bosses, um, and some human bosses. Now we have talked to human to death. Um, you know, I'm just going to pop all those up. Lots and lots of good stuff to go ahead and do. Go get it. Lots of human killer out there. Some better than others. Lo and behold, tons and tons of stuff. It's one of the most common killers in the game. Don't forget that you can get human killer off of Diablos. Um, which is pretty cool. So yeah, human killer, go get it. There you go. Um, machines, uh, not very many trial rewards. And we've done, uh, at least one of these before we've done the Reaper eater or the machine eater sense from Doolahan. Um, I've done that one before. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a tag over here. One of these, one of these directions there, that one, <laughs> the tag is going to go over there, uh, for where, uh, for a link to the video about the doula hand that I did use re using uh, recent unit units. So that's pretty cool. Um, that way you can go get that. Um, but there's also the rising sun, which is a throwing weapon. It's one of the legendary stag. You can just one shot it with a Titus or a type, um, probably a squall as well, since he's in my opinion, pretty, pretty much stronger and easier to build. Um, so go, go get that if you want. Um, but loads and loads of TMRs and STMRs. And for the first time, I'm going to include some Neovisions at TMRs and STMRs. Um, Tybus's Raging Tempest is his great sword, his heavy sword. Uh, and it's got 100% machine killer on it, which is super awesome uh, if you're looking for that. Um, and then the mechanic for the Royal Family, also 100%. That's a Materia from Cindy. Valued Memories from Irvin, also 100% machine killer. Very, very good STMR. Last Guardian from Noel. Um, is machines and dragons and attack, so it's very, very good. And then some 50 percenters, uh, but you know, Storm Bunny Jacket and Olive Journal, those are both really good. And then um, Skeggy Old from Tulian is a really cool two handed axe that gives Machine Killer as well. So lots of neat stuff for TMRs and STMRs, not very many trial rewards for machines. So we're not going to put our focus there, but there is lots of good stuff out there for it. Where we're going to focus today is insects because we have never done insects before i know we've never done machines before but i have technically done some some uh, guides for machine killer bosses like the uh, like the doula hand so um while we're gonna, there's some really cool trial rewards the insect buster which is from scorn of the demon chimera kind of a hard fight if you're not prepared for it but lots of new units can blow it up really easily bug killer plus from scorn of the marching beasts uh, we're actually going to do that one on on this video so it's pretty easy to grab um and we're only going to take one unit <laughs> to do it uh well it's technically two but one of them's a friend that uh, that is uh, geared pretty well if you don't happen to have that you know if you don't happen to have a good friend you, you can the, the it's so old but bug killer plus is so good so don't pass up on it um ega blade is a one-handed weapon from scorn of the venomous vines of death one-handed weapons suck but you can go get it Killer bow, scorn of the brachiosaur. Uh, Killer bow plus, rather, scorn of the brachiosaur. It's a bow. It's two-handed. Better than nothing. It is dark element though, so if you're not wanting to bring dark element, there you go. Um, and then some TMRs and STMRs we've talked about before. Scanning goggles from Olive, really good for lots and lots of things. In fact, four different things. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then purple and black battle attire. Again, Neo Visions TMR, but it's an older one. Neo Visions last well. Uh, it's actually an STMR rather. Um, so you, a lot of people probably have this one. Um, if they don't, you know, not not that big a deal. It is out there, um, but uh, yeah, not a ton of stuff out there for insect killer. Um, but we don't see insects a lot. Um, but that's okay. You know, lots of lots of ways to do it. So there you go. So let's talk this trial here. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the Scorn of the Marching Beasts, like I said, and it is not that difficult in today's meta. Uh, if you even have a single Neovisions unit, you're probably going to be okay. Uh, it's all the way down here at the bottom. Da -da 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 -da. Scorn of the Marching Beasts, right? Difficulty 225. You can do this to get the Demon Mail Plus, which is actually a pretty good trial reward. A lot of a lot of times I'm gearing a unit that wears heavy armor only, and I end up putting that on them. So pretty nice. Um, but you can also get from this a rare summon ticket um, by dealing fire, lightning, and earth damage two times or more each to an enemy. Um, I'm going to be skipping that during this. You know, you could you could just easily gear units or bring more than one unit. I'm only bringing one unit. No items gets you a big trust moogle. Defeat Europa with magic for the bug killer plus. That's the important one. You want to bring that. Um, and there you go. And then completing the quest gets you demon mail plus, but we're not here to talk about that. We're getting bug killer plus. De defeat Europa with magic. Here's the strategy it'll tell you about. Here's Europa and his little searchers. Um, you have to survive nine battles to do this. In particular, though, it says the Terror Knight on Battle 6 will instantly KO all units when its HP reaches zero, so be careful. Nice. Okay. 
Not that difficult. Um, it says to bring machine killer, but with the unit we're bringing, it does not matter. So here we go. Um, I'm going to select my own unit. We're going to pretend this is a friend unit, and we're going to pretend that um, our friend unit is uh, is Squall. Okay, here we go. And there we go. So we got Lone Lion Squall here, as per usual. Uh, I did not even mean to do that. I meant to put Bahamut. So the neat thing about this trial is it does include lots and lots of enemies of different races and types, um, but they're not that strong. So Squall could wipe them out really easily, but you know, having a wide range of killers is useful. This Squall is definitely not built absolute best possible, right? He's got his own, his own um, STMR or you know the, the STMR there, and uh, he's got Riser's Crown, some Magister stuff, Tyvus's Gauntlet, you know, whatever. Um, he's got his own thing. He's got some killers. Not that important. He's got this kind of like lower end, lower end, high end, you know, uh, as far as like a, a attack cards go, this is like kind of the standard like go to. So put that card on there. This squall is not built the way he could be built and he's still going to do just fine. The other thing we've got going on is um, just this Fina, Lotus Mage Fina, because she does have the ability to do re-raise on... Um, on the right turn where we need it. Now she could do this in one of two ways. She could just use dual cast and use re-raise that way. So she does not even have to be an NVA unit. You just have this unit and she can do re-raise. Uh, that's fine. Doesn't have to be EX3 at all, um, but she needs re-raise or she could use one of her re-raise abilities. So she's got um, uh, eternal light, blossom heart. Uh, that one only is only for her though. Yes, blossom heart is only for her. So Eternal Light's really good, or she could use her Limit Burst on the turn where we need it to, uh, whatever you want. But uh, she's a really good unit for this, um, especially because she can also cast Ultima, which is a really, really slow magic. And we're going to use that to get Bug Killer Plus at the end of this fight. So here we are. She's only wearing one thing, and it does not even matter. She, she's got the Obsidian Brazer, which you can get from the story. Go get it if you haven't yet. It's really awesome. It just applies breaks every turn. There you go. So here we are. We're going to go do this with uh, basically one unit. And it's not that difficult. Um, it's an older trial. It still checks out, uh, but it's an older trial. So we're just going to use Squall. And because this, there's more than one enemy here, we're just going to do uh, uh, Brave Circle three times. One one attack will obviously do it, but I just want to make sure you know, we do enough damage. I don't know if we have enough damage to take out these enemies <laughs> there they are all right the second one is a bunch of plants obsidian bracer broke them you see very nice we'll go ahead and do brave circle one time look at that look at that all right so we have our slb we don't really need to use it right now uh but we'll go ahead and do brave circle again squall's taking care of it for us this is what happens though power creeps power power creeps the thing right Brave circle again. There we go. He's got a nice AOE ability, so we're going to use it. The Architooth. This is turn. Uh, this is round five, not round six. So we're not uh, needing to use re-raise yet. We'll just do brave circle again. Ooh, that one kind of survived a little bit. Not enough though. Here we are. Terror Knight. So we've got a couple ways we could do this. She doesn't quite have her limit burst yet. Again, we could use re-raise, dual cast, right? Which is what we're going to go ahead and do. She could also use um, Eternal Light, like we said, to give re-raise to the party or her limit burst, whatever you want to do. And uh, we'll just go ahead and triple here, you know, whatever. Whatever we want to use. I don't even know. Why not? Accelerator Edge. Probably not even necessary. There we go. But he kills you. But with re-raise, you come back. So wonderful. There we go. We got two enemies this time, so we got to go back to using, uh, you know, an AOE attack. So we'll go ahead and use um, Faded Circle. Why not? How much does this do? This is probably good, right? Faded Circle. Not a work. It's AOE. You know, it also breaks, which is kind of nice. Hey, we got our SLB back. That's the nice thing about bringing an EX3 Squall, right? Let's do it twice. Faded Circle twice.
All right, and we're on to our last fight here. Now, they do some bad stuff to you. They they do breaks on you, but it's like not that big a deal. This boss is really, really old. And remember that our um, mission here is to defeat Europa with magic. Um, so we're going to do that. Lotus Mage Fina is going to cast the slowest spell in the game. Um, she could cast Holy, I guess. Or you could, if you had Alterna on her, you could use Alterna. I'm just going to use du uh, Dual Cast Ultima because it's really, really slow. And Squall is going to use his tr Super Limit Burst to just wipe out these enemies. Um, and so the first thing you got to do is you have to cast Ultima first. So cast Ultima, then use your SLB. Ultima. SLB. Goodbye, boss. There's Ultima doing its damage. Ultima is the final hit, so it counts as defeating the boss with magic. And uh, there we go. So it, you, like I said, you could have bring, you could have brought other um, units to try and get the other rewards if you have never done this before. Uh, but there it is. Squall is not on my list because he's a friend unit, not my unit. Whatever. And there we have it. So again, you know, defeat with magic, bring fire, ice, and or fire, lightning, and earth two times for that ultimate awesome three-star rare summon ticket. And then no items, which we did. So very easy to pick this up. Uh, Bug Killer Plus is going to be useful for lots and lots of content because um, it does physical and magical, and it's 75%, so it's pretty good. Um, there you have it. So lots and lots of stuff going on this week, which is really exciting um and lots and lots of stuff to do so we'll be playing through that on thursday over on twitch so be sure you come out and say hello and visit and chat and do all the things that we do over there we usually have a pretty good time friday we got the anniversary live stream super super cool the official anniversary live stream saturday i'm not gonna be streaming because we got the unofficial 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 anniversary live stream that i'm taking part in that's gonna eat up my saturday night for sure um but i'll be around you know, feel free to drop a comment, say hello, like, follow, subscribe, do all the things you do that keeps this video on the forefront of your awareness if something like this is helpful to you. Uh, and yeah, there you go. Have fun. We'll see you in the game. I'm going to go watch Jurassic World. See ya.